Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are gonna spend some time down here at the garden center helping put out a big, beautiful new load of houseplants. I'm so excited because look at the day today. Foggy, drizzly, wet. Ooh, it's just kind of a, a, a gray day. So this is just the perfect thing to do. I'm so excited to go in and see all of these plants. I haven't seen them yet. I gotta gather up all my stuff here. Morning. Okay, let's take a look. Usually all the new plants are just kind of scattered around on the floor while they're being priced and watered and all of that before we place them. Oh, look, baby pineapples. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I'm already seeing so many beautiful, like the color and the texture. That's a whale fin Sansevieria. Look at the size of these leaves. Whoa. Oh, and look at the ficus right here. Look at the, they look like little hearts. Oh, and a philodendron. Whoa, that one is a painted lady. That is gorgeous. Look at the philodendron right here. Around the corner. Oh my word. Look at all of this. Oh, some Big whale fin Sansevierias. Holy moly. Those are just so cool looking. String of hearts and some peperomia. These are really cute. They're so glossy. Oh, and then some variegated ones. How pretty. Oh my goodness. And then these are pothos. A Cebu, Cebu blue or something like that. Yeah. And donkey's tail or burrow's tail sedum that looks so full. Don't those look so healthy? Oh my gosh. Um, can you believe it? No. <laughs> so many. I already have four. You have four set, set aside? aside? in my pile. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just to begin. <laughs> yeah. It's so tempting. Yeah. Especially right now. It's just so... Well, they look so fresh. Yeah. And just... My goodness. And they just keep going, you guys. Let's just I think these are so cool, around. but you just look at them wrong and they're like, just drop oh, a the bunch of Oh, the I know. Yeah, you kind of just need to set them and, and forget Somewhere them. Somewhere they're not going to move. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. These are sure pretty. Philodendron. Prince of Orange right there. Some Audrey ficus right here. Oh, and I just love these. The triangularis ficus right there. Might need to have one of those. Oh, and these are cool. The Sansevierias that are like tubes. There's also a whole bunch in here. Brand new Sansevierias. A whole bunch of new things on the ground. What are these? Delisperma echinatum. Uh, what's the rest of the tag say? Gherkin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and then look at all of these. Look at the color right there. Wow. Oh, oh, what is this? It's like a Philodendron tortum. Oh, that is so crazy. I've not seen one like that. Isn't that interesting? Oh my. Oh, that's pretty. That mauvey pink. Oh, some anthuriums over here. Oh, and look at the huge ferns. Whoa. Holy moly. Oh, what is this one? Look at the variegation on it. Philodendron burl marks variegated. Wow. There's some rickrack cactus. Those look really good. And white wizard philodendron right here. We just kind of have to pick our way through. Let's see all of these things. Oh, look at these. So ring of fire philodendron, which look 100% different than mine at home. Um, mine do not have ribs or I mean lobes and they've got a lot more pink and orange in them. But mine is not doing super great because it came, it was way too wet and it started to rot. So I might have to pick one of these up just to see how it does. It's really, really fun. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, these are huge leaves. These are so cool. Sell them gold philodendron, any philodendron, just, yeah. Yep. Nice. I like the texture on these. A bunch of four inch plants right in here. Oh, little babies. Oh, and they're working on getting all of these big ones priced back here. These have the most interesting leaves. So this is what you call a long boy. These oh. are actually super, super easy to grow. But they do need a pole for staking. But as they get bigger, their lobes, their ears get really big. These will get super long. Well, that's so cool. And the backs get a burgundy color. What's the variety on that one? It's a Mexicanum. Philodendron Mex Mexicanum. Mexicanum. There's so many, and there's so many, like, very unique and interesting ones. Oh, I love it. Gosh. Don't show this. It's so fun. Oh, 
what are these little guys? White Knight Philodendron. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be expanding my Philodendron collection here. There's more up here? Yeah, a lot more. Oh, oh, aren't those pretty? Isn't that beautiful? Yes. They're such a dainty size compared to those mamma jammas in the back room. This is a Dallas fern. I like that. I've not heard of it. Have you heard of a Dallas mm, fern? Uh-uh, no. It's, it's really so pretty. pretty, yes. And the rickrack, look at these, the rickrack cactus. So there's the littler lobed one in the back, but there's some real wide ones right here. Staghorn ferns look nice. Yes, they do. Oh, look at that. Little staghorns. Oh, look at those philodendrons. Look yeah, see, those rickrack cactus are massive. Look at that. <laughs> they have a very fern-like quality yes. to them. I could do this. Yeah, I like that. yeah, me too. How many plants have you picked out so far? None. None? None. What? I've been waiting for you. Oh, well, good. <laughs> like to hear those words. Yeah. There's some ferns here. Oh, I like these. I always like these. They just have such a delicate look to them. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they don't tend to like my house, but no, no they just kind of like. Do they, get, do they get too dry? <laughs> do you want to take that sass and <laughs> take it outside? <laughs> Possibly get too dry, all right? So what's the plan, Monica's? Lunch. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> well, we could just start. We're almost done pricing them. Okay. So I just need to, I was on my last flat and I ran out of stickers. Uh, is there any um, uh, guide to watering or are they all watered and I don't need to worry uh, about I that? I think Brittany already checked it oh, out. Perfect. So basically we can just spot stuff if we find anything dry. Like okay. I've had a few things I've had to do this morning uh -huh. as we're putting them out. But they're already watered and then I'll go through and check everything tomorrow. Okay. So watering, we're good. So just saucer and place them. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got an in on the good part. Yeah, yes you did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I think what we're going to do is just work on getting these placed around in the sunroom up here, keeping in mind light requirements, putting things that need brighter light, of course, near the windows or in the sunroom portion right back here. And then the area where I'm at doesn't get a lot of natural light. So we just try to keep that in mind. Although you can shift things around pretty easily um, as things start to sell and move. And this time of year is such a fun time to be looking for house plants because, uh, you know, as you saw outside, there's not a whole lot of other things going on that are green. So we're gonna work on getting them placed and then we will walk around and do a kind of a slow tour this afternoon, later after everything's placed and just look at everything. So here we go. Yep. These are perfect. You just put them right under there and you hook them to their, their little deal and then you don't have a drippy. It's perfect, yep. On everything. Have uh, leaves going everywhere. Well, I know. They're just doing their shedding right now. <laughs> they always do their shedding. <laughs> They're shedding. They, they like it's shedding. yeah, like it's a one-time thing. we got all of the plants out in place. I am not sure how much of that I captured because it was a busy day. There were customers in and out and you know, you're just moving all over the place in the store. So anyway, I hope we got at least a little bit. This is the part I was looking forward to though, really just taking our time and walking through and taking a look at all of these beautiful plants. Now, so far I have six pulled. I have six in the back room and I'll show you which six I ended up with. And I'll show you Monica's pile too, cause she's got one. But let's just get started. I wa always wanna start right outside the front door. I don't know why. I just feel like it gives you a good point of reference as to where we're at. 
First off, immediately to our right, we've got these massive ferns that I think will be very happy. This is a west facing window, but there's some protection because there's that pergola right there so they don't get blasted with the sun. So, well, especially this time of year too, it's so, you know, well, gray a lot of days. Our forecast, even though we're getting warmer, it looks like it's gonna be pretty much gray. So giving these plants a lot of bright light will keep them happy and hopefully they won't do like a huge leaf drop. Um, and that's what I usually deal with at our house whenever I have these type of ferns. I love them, they do great outside. And then when I bring them in, they drop leaves everywhere unless I get them positioned in the perfect spot. So I think they'll really like it here. And then there's also one, I don't need to walk all the way over there, but you can see it's uh, over in that other window, looks just like these. There's also a couple on this side as well. And these you guys are Boston ferns. I'm not sure if I mentioned what variety they are. I'll get close to them, they're so pretty. Okay, so now let's just go display by display and take a look at all of these things. Starting off with these beautiful bright chartreuse plants. Now I brought those up here on purpose because I wanted them to grab attention since they're, you know, it's a front display. And also I thought they would look kind of fun contrasting the blue that's up here. There's also some gnomes and peacocks. And this is such a cool, like, oh, it lights up. Isn't that pretty? But this is a philodendron ring of fire gold. So you remember the ring of fire philodendron I bought at uh, Edwards not that long ago that I think is pretty much a goner. It was on its way to rotting when I bought it. I didn't realize that until I got it home. But anyway, um, this one's the gold version and it's got these kind of wavy leaves and it's such a bright spot right here. Contrasting to the ring of fire traditional ring of fire right here. So the one that I have at home, well it had uh, leaves that were about this big, maybe bigger, but they didn't have any of this ruffliness. Ruff, ruffle, ruffliness, is that a word? They didn't have any of these ruffles. It was more straight on the edges, which I guess is indicative of maybe less mature leaves, but mine were big like this, like big leaves, so I'm not sure. And mine had a lot more orange and pink variegation, but it was clearly a stressed plant. So um, this, when you Google Ring of Fire Philodendron, this is what comes up. Um, and you can see just the very irregular variegation here. I think it's just such a pretty, pretty plant. You can see some pink down in here. Right next to it, we have an Audrey ficus. And these just have such a really soft, medium green leaf. I just love the color of them. They're, they've got kind of like a velvet look to them. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like they're extra soft. They just have that kind of sheen that makes me think that. And then down here, there's some larger ring of fire gold. So, you know, we've got the four inch size there, larger size down here. And honestly, the price is so much better on these than what I bought. Yeah, this one here is $56.99. The one I bought that was not any bigger than this was 90 so really good prices on these more unique plants, I think. And then there's a Salome Gold Philodendron. Isn't that interesting? It's got a very delicate look to me. I think it's because the leaves aren't as rigid, but they're really interesting in shape and they're massive. And then this one just says Philodendron Mixed. Kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know. Is there one like called Red Congo or something like that? I'm probably way off. So don't listen to me about that. I kind of need to have houseplants be identified to be sure, or to have an identification tag to be sure. There's a Prismacolor Silver Sword Philodendron right here on the pole, right behind it. Look at how pretty. Oh, so gorgeous, the leaf color. They're so glossy and silvery. And there's a few of those. There's a one uh, right there and then one around the backside as well, which we'll look at in a minute. But let's swing this direction and take a look at the plants that we have here. Sansevieria down here on the ground. And then there's a Florida green philodendron right here. This is one of those that's in the Leaf Joy collection, has very unique, deeply cut leaves. Look at those. I think I've showed this one to you guys before. So interesting. And then the Calathea, the colorful Calathea right here. It's got like kind of the medium sage and then the silvery stripes. Nice big leaves too. These down here, they're called pom-pom ferns and they just look so delicate and soft. I think it'd be really pretty to put together just a fern assortment arrangement all together. Then there's Dracaena marginata kiwi. So these have the dark green, kind of the yellowy green. And then if you look real close, they've got a red stripe right on the margin. 
So three different colors and it makes them look like they glow. They're so pretty. There's the Pink Panther Tratascantia. Really dainty leaves, sweet lavender color. Here's one of the Klingon Anastasia Ficus right here. We've got a couple of these at home. So they've got the really interesting green variegation. It's not as prominent, you know, as like the white variegated ficus, which we have some of those right there. But there's something really peaceful about that subtle variegation that I love. There's a burgundy ficus right there. It looks really good. Look at that, it's huge. And then there's some orange prince philodendron right here. Look at the color of those new leaves. That is intense and beautiful. Prince of Orange is the variety name, not Orange Prince. Almost the same. <laughs> I had to double check the tag. There's a white striped Dracaena right next to them. And then since we're right here, we're gonna swing this direction. You can see the front counter right here. Oh, look at all those ferns up there. Oh, I think the variety is a crocodile fern, right? That's what they look like. They've got really interesting leaves. Monica thinks they look like lettuce greens, but they're super tough, forgiving ferns, this type right here. It's nice to see something green up there and I love all the seed bins. Oh. And then here's the pineapples. We decided to put those front and center because they're so interesting. They're so pretty to look at. And so like, I don't see those all the time. So I think that's really a neat one. There's Dracaena marginata bicolor. So these look a little bit different than the ones we just looked at right over here. They've got a softer color palette, sagey green, a light buttery yellow, and then there's a pink margin. These are such tough plants. Tough, tough, tough. A whole bunch of Birkin philodendrons, which I would have grabbed one of these if I didn't already have one at home. <laughs> They're so pretty. There's something about that green and white variegation that just looks so peaceful. And we brought the peace lilies up here because we thought that they would look really nice together. And then the triang triangularis or something. Let me look. Yeah, triangularis ficus. So they have these like triangle-ish shaped, heart-shaped leaves and then the strong white variegation. They're really pretty. And then right below those are philodendron giganteums. And these all look super duper healthy. They've all got a really nice spread on them too. Like they're nicely shaped plants. Backside of that first display we looked at, there's more of the triangularis ficus. There's another one of the silver sword philodendron. And then what is this? Ficus, right? Yeah, ficus altissima. This one, I don't know that I'm familiar with this one. This reminds me a lot of the Anastasia ficus in, in the way of its variegation. Just the very subtle, the deep green with the light green on the outer edges. It's a really pretty plant. Okay, we're gonna move this way toward the side room. Right here, we've got some smaller Prince of Orange philodendrons, but they look so good. I mean, look at this plant. That's gorgeous. And it's only $9.99. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, these plants are priced so, so well based on the plants that I normally see. My goodness. Then we've got the Diffenbachia called Panther. These are huge. I mean, look at that. This isn't like a two to three gallon container down there. They've got really pretty variegation. There's another one up here on the table. There's a mixed planter, cacti and succulents. We've got a bloom on the cactus. A whole bunch of buds on it too. More of the pom-pom fern. And then we've got the Swiss cheese plant right here on the pole. It looks really good. It's starting to like trail. Then there's a philodendron called fuzzy petiole, petiola, something like that. Huge, huge leaves. And the stems are a little bit more pinkish red and they've got like a little bit of a roughness to them. And it looks like, and I don't know a lot about this one, but does this one want to climb? I mean, it's on a, on a post to keep it upright. And I'm noticing like kind of that, it's got that look to it. I don't know. I just love the big leaves. Almost looks like the lily pad. It's the lily pad ficus that we have at home. I don't know, it kind of has that look. Just to the left of that, we've got the Fernwood Sansevieria, or snake plant. Isn't that a cool looking one? Another one of those that looks like it's just like they're circles. Really interesting. But they still have a little bit of that striping variegation. Right below that, we've got the Moonlight Philodendrons. These also look really good. I mean, let me pull one of these out. Look at that. That's a big plant for a four inch container. Again, $9.99. 
Amazing. And then the massive Sansevieria. What are these called again? Whale fin? Whale tail something? Hold on. Yeah, whale fin. These leaves are so rigid. And they've got such an interesting variegation on them. And I love that kind of reddish margin. It's got a really interesting look to it. Then right above that, the Sansevieria Laurenti. It's a little bit of a more common looking Sansevieria, but the nice big size. And then this little area right here, Oh, I loved the colors that were here. It's kind of fun that all the displays were kind of just set up. We were just filling in with plants. And you know, you've got the soft blue and the soft green right there and these massive philodendrons. Look at how big the leaves are. You guys, this is a moonlight. This is a large version of this down here. Whoa, I'm not sure I would have guessed that. Then there's a narrow philodendron right here. They're kind of dotted around. I think there's like three or four of them around this display. Then there's a narrow philodendron right here. So narrow, longer leaves. There's another one here. In fact, I think there's a couple more. They're kind of dotted around here. And then these are such sweet plants. This is a Peperomia obtusifolia. So shiny and so dainty looking. And then it's sister right here, a variegated version. What's the name of this one though? Ob Obdipan Citrus Twist. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and still got the gloss factor. A few more of the Audrey Ficus. Do you have anything else different in this one? Oh yeah, yeah. We've got these ficus right down here. These are the burgundy ficus, so just a smaller version than the other one we saw up front that's massive. A few mixed containers up there. A Repsalis. There's some ferns in here. We've got some waffle plants down here. These are always kind of neat. They've got purple undersides of their leaves right here and that shiny green. These look really healthy. And then over in this corner, we just have a few of a bunch of random things. Audrey ficus, there's more waffle plants, some little baby Sansevierias. There's a white wizard philodendron right here, which we've got more of in the back room. And then we've got the door leading out to the garden center. Oh, I can't wait for it to fill up out here. More baby Sansevieria down there and a variegated ficus. The really pretty pink coloring on that one. Okay, and then this display right here, we've got another one of the Boston ferns. There's some Dracaenas in here, uh, right in the basket. I think that's a caramel Pluto philodendron kind of what it looks like anyway. There's no ID tag on that one, but those were here already. So that one and that great big one there. On the table here, there's some Schismatoglottis, right? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Schismatoglottis wallachii. There's three of them there, and then there's a whole bunch on the floor, as well as a couple more of the Swiss cheese plants. Peperomia pixie. Oh, I think that one is super dainty and sweet. Okay, so you guys, this is the Schismatoglottis wallachii, bigger version, <laughs> much bigger version. They are water babies. They need a ton of water to be happy, just FYI. I have one at home. This is why I know. And they're gorgeous though. I don't think I would trade it for something less maintenance because I just love the size of it, the stature and the variegation. And then you can see we did put some plants over here. These will be the first to move out to a new location as you know, plants sell because there's no natural light to this space right here. Uh, but there's a Prismacolor a fuzzy petiole, smaller ones than the ones we just looked at up front. Beautiful fern called Dallas. I think my mom was showing this one to us earlier. And it's so like dense and so gorgeous and layered. I love that. There's some red emerald philodendrons in here. And I think they get that because look at the stems. Whoa, look at the color on those stems. That's crazy. They're beautiful. There's some cane dracaenas down here. See, they're on like, like little trees on trunks. And these are monstera philodendrons right there. There's also some uh, little sansevierias and some of the Dallas ferns on this side and Sansevieria is down there. This is a Monster Mash Monstera right here. Look at that, oh, it's so pretty. And then there's a couple of Sansevierias. I wonder if this is just a larger version of the ones we just looked at. Let's take a, take a peek. Yep, Fernwood. So the rounded leaves. These are just in larger containers, a lot more leaves to them. Okay, so now we're going into plant land. Tons and tons of plants in here. I'll start with this one right here because this one was one of the first ones that caught my eye. This is a painted, painted lady philodendron, pink stems, yellow and green variegation, more variegation on some of the leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. A pilea called Moon Valley. These are always so interesting. 
kind of like have a little bit of a velcro-y texture. They're just so different, they're leaves. Okay, now this section. And you guys, because there are so many plants, like so many, I think I'm just gonna roll through varieties here. Staghorn ferns here on the ground, nice small size to start with, but really full looking. I mean, look at this one, it's gorgeous seven bucks. <laughs> Ficus elastica, beautiful variegation. Pearls and jade pothos. I would, I think I'd like to have one of these. Look at how bright that white is. There's an alocasia called mythic. Look at that. Look at that leaf right there. My goodness. And then this is a pothos called Cebu blue. Isn't that interesting? I guess these can climb or uh, cascade. There's a few of them hanging up right here. There's an Amstel King ficus right here. This has got some nice height to it. This is a Philodendron Brantianum. I have one of these at home, love the silver on it. And then there's some just mixed containers. There is a Ginny uh, Peperomia right here. Some Dracaena right there. These are a Philodendron called Rojo Congo. And then there's more of the Pilea and a Peperomia called Raisin. I love this one. Such a sweet little plant and I love the color. I'm so happy they named it Raisin. That's like the perfect name. Those are actually really pretty together. Swinging this way, we have the rabbit's foot fern, which I've always liked these. I'm not very good at taking care of them, but they are always beautiful to start off with. We've got more of the narrow philodendron right here. These are a little bit bigger than the ones we saw up front. And they're kind of just scattered throughout this display couple up here too by the owl. Okay, let's go this direction. There's more of the triangularis ficus down there. Look at how pretty. These are a little bit of a bigger size to start with. The other ones we looked at are four inches. These are six inches. Oh, and I love this. And I actually, one of them already sold. I had one right here. So I'm gonna pop this one out. This is a gray philodendron on pole. My dad thinks it looks like the leaves need to be dusted. That's what he told me when I took one to the back office. <laughs> so I like it and I'm gonna take one anyway because they're so pretty. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, how we're gonna approach this outer portion, let's do the outer wall first, all the way to the door, and then we'll turn around and do this inner spot. And we are not gonna go through name by name here. <laughs> I might point out a few but there's just a ton of Haworthias, aloes, tons of succulents, a few that were new today, like this one, this is a Peperomia, it just says a Peperomia assorted. They look really nice. There's some Philodendron Mamiae on the ground, and they look really good. There's some baby rickrack cactus down there, a whole bunch of aloes, a whole bunch of succulents. Just, you could spend a lot of time looking through all of these plants. Oh, and there's spider plants up top. Up top here, variegated. These look great. Oh my gosh, a string of watermelons. How cool is that? Oh, I might need one of those. Don't those look, let me see if I can get it to focus. Don't those look like little mini watermelons with little stripes? Oh, more succulents. My goodness. <laughs> Caramel Pluto philodendron, baby cacti over here, a whole bunch of baby cacti and other baby plants of various types. There's more peperomia down here. Those look like they were new today. Oh, is that supposed to be like a hot air balloon? Oh, that is so cute. I never noticed those. I might have to get one of those too. Cause you could plant this up with succulent cuttings and then do something fun like this, like this um, donkey's tail sedum, which they just got new ones. Look, there they are. Oh, that's so okay. cute. So you just noticed the hot air balloon? Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, they are cute little yeah. birdhouses. Is that what they are? Yeah. Wait a minute. They are? Yeah. Oh, they are a birdhouse. I was like, I'm going to plant that up with succulents. <laughs> <laughs> so the top is a birdhouse, yeah. and then the bottom is the basket. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, back to the lab. Okay. Back to the lab. <laughs> There's Calicia on the floor. Tortum, Tortum philodendron. Never seen such a thing. Kind of fun. More succulents, more cacti. Oh, all of those. Whole bunch of cacti. Then there's some palms right down here. 
areca palm. A whole bunch more succulents and cacti. Kind of just repeats a bit of what we just have seen. However, um, there are a couple of new things over here. This is one of them. This epiphyllum. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, there we go. Ep epiphyllum anguligar fire. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You scared me, bud. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> There's some Tradescantia down here. And then what variety of philodendron is this? Red diamond. Some string of hearts. They're a little bit more silver in color than pink. Oh, the cutest little baby succulents ever. Look at that. Oh. And then here's the wall that Brittany was working on today. So a whole bunch of different plants and different little pots and things on this wall. Isn't that beautiful? She did such a pretty job on it. And I told her when I was walking by earlier, I just feel like I need to come and study each individual crate because there's so many different things going on. It makes it really interesting to look at. So much fun. So there's a wide variety of things. So I'll point out a couple. The Rick Rat Cactus right here with massive leaves. Massive, like the biggest I have seen. There's pretty plumosa ferns. There's crocodile fern in here. There's a marble peperomia, beautiful variegation. There's prayer plant and aloes. There's a golden, no, a neon pothos right there. Austral gem fern. Anglonema, anglonema. I never had to know how to pronounce the name of that one. I see you. No, we're, we're sneaking on Oh, okay. Not Oh, okay. Watermelon peperomia. Oh, look at the coloring on this one. Oh, that's so pretty. There's an alocasia right here. And there are some anthuriums scattered about. And then there's some other sansevieria. So what is this one? I mean, we know this is a whale fin. Oh, this is a whale fin variegated. So you've got the nice big wide leaf, but it's got some more color in it. Are you wore out yet? They're sneaking. <laughs> We're gonna turn around now and take a look at this center area. Uh, there's Chef Lara. There's, are these pony, ponytail palms, right? Yeah. Yep, ponytail palms, silver tree pileas. There's more Swiss cheese plants. Kind of the hanging, hanging type, not on a pole. You go this direction, you can see some jade. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these little guys. So these are the Raphidophora. Tetrasperma. Really nice looking. More rickrack cactus down here. And then again, just a, an assortment. String of hearts that have a little bit more pink in them. More rickrack cactus up top. There's a mangave, beautiful coloring there. Some ropsalis. Some more of the Prismacolor Gold Philodendron. These are a Mayoi, Mayoi Philodendron. I guess that these get massive leaves on them, as do these right here. The mam mamoi, mamii, philodendron. Nanook, tradescantia, beautiful color. And we've got some pencil cactus in here. This is a synjonium called Three Kings. Really interesting coloring. And then there's peperomia leapfrog. And these are on the back side of this display, so they're gonna be in quite a lot of shade. So this is another spot that even though it's really bright around it, I'll have to watch these plants and make sure they don't start to stretch. Okay, and then for this display right here, some really neat plants. There's the white knight philodendron. So I have the white wizard at home. White knight might need to join the collection. They are so gorgeous. And I love that there's, there's the white and green, but there's also a little bit of that like kind of burgundy red in the middle. So pretty. Then there's the Philodendron Monstera right here. There's the Gray Star, Satanthi Gray Star. Look at the leaves on that. I like how these come up, like the growth habit is neat. They come up and kind of like turn a bit. And there's an Alocasia right here. This is the Mythic Alocasia Zabrina. Ooh, we've got the most interesting stems. This is part of the Leaf Joy collection right here. There's the Cylindrical Sansevieria down here. So more of like the round leaves, but these are much uh, wider, much bigger leaves. A black cardinal philodendron. Oh, the coloring is so gorgeous. 
And then I love this one. I can't remember the name. Let me look at the tag. Burl Marks Variegated. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Down on the ground, is this more of the Ring of Fire right here? Yep, more of the Ring of Fire philodendron right here. They all look really good. I feel and sense somebody's presence. Oh, did you, yeah. did you, hi, did you <laughs> snuck up on me big time? Both of you, yeah. Oh, okay. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. Now, Monica. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there's some more of the White Wizard philodendron and then there's Lemon Button Fern. These are so cute. I love these. And staghorn ferns there on the ground. Those look so good. So thick. And then a few more of the other ones that we've already looked at. Okay, moving this direction, there's some peperomia down here on the ground and they're very silver in color. This one's called Nap Napoleonites. Oh, cylindrical Sansevieria. Pencil cactus right here wild things up here. Move this direction. This is a philodendron mexicanum. Look at the ears on this one. Isn't that amazing? Such a unique leaf shape. Oh, golden pothos down here on the ground. And then have you ever seen a black ZZ plant? Because I'm not sure I have. I usually see the green variety, which are beautiful. And these are such low maintenance, easy to care for plants. Like what a cool look that is. I love it. And then there's philodendron, the Atabapoense right here. Little baby version. It's got a really pretty silver color. I've got a whole bunch more here on the ground, right behind me. What'd you find? Is that for me? Mom, I want ice cream. <laughs> this looks like Papa's writing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the Atabapoense in larger form. So baby form, large form. Isn't that amazing? Got a couple of the Roy ficus right here. I can hear the birds. Hey birds. This is a Synjonium right here, that pretty mauvey pink. And then a massive philodendron right there. Assorted ferns. And these have a really interesting variegation pattern. These are a ficus moonshine. Look at that. That was beautiful. And then the back side of this one doesn't have a tremendous amount. There's a palm and then a few cents of area. And you guys, we are almost done. So there's more moonshine ficus right here. There are some coffee plants right here. These are always pretty nice, glossy, kind of a bright green. There's more of the narrow philodendrons. There's prayer plants, it looks so good. And then there's jade pothos there on the ground and a few here on the table. This is a philodendron subhestatum. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, on a pole. There's a couple of those. Pretty color over here. And then swinging this way, we have got some Monstera. I'm trying to read this tag, Celtipicana. Is that what that is? I don't know, really pretty leaves. Look at those. They're gorgeous. And then a philodendron cordatum. Then we've got some dracaena. These are the marginata magenta right here. Aluminum pilea. Those really shine. And then our very last area here, you guys, where we usually toss the plants that can handle the lowest light and then move them out as we have space. We've got some sansevieria down there on the ground. We've got prayer plants that look really great. And then there's some ZZ plants. And that is what finishes up our plant room tour. These look good. First of all, this is Brittany's hall right here. It's really pretty. What? We'll close in 18 Are we gonna close? Minutes. Okay. In 18 minutes. Oh, in 18 minutes, I see. Hey, Monica. Yeah. What'd you end up with today? Uh, the uh, rickrack and these three things. The oh, black pretty. ZZ plant. <gasps> yeah, we were just looking those at those. Are so those are so cool. And then I wanted one of these. The Prince of Prince Orange, Orange. Uh -huh. Rick Rat Cactus, and an Anglonema or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The pink. Oh, Brittany said these are real easy. Nice. They look like they'd be tender. Yeah. But... That's a nice load. <laughs> Did you have any plants from today? Did you pull anything? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. I thought for sure you'd have a pile. Mine is right over here. We're going to take a look oh. at that real quick. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So here is my pile. I Oh. <laughs> Who put googly eyes in my plant? Monica's. Did you... <laughs> Did you put googly eyes? <laughs> it's got the googs. That's so funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I've got a googly eye Rick Rat Cactus. That should be a new variety now. Yes. I got one of the White Knight Philodendrons. I picked out one of the uh, Tortum Philodendrons and then one of the Prince of Orange Philodendrons. And then I got another Ring of Fire Philodendron. Maybe Erin will like this one better that it's not so orange and pink like my other one. And then the Silver uh, poth uh, Philodendron rather, or the Gray. It's called a Gray Philodendron on a pole. So that is my load. I know, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. You want to know what dad said when I brought it in here? What? He said, it looks like it needs to be dusted. <laughs> That's gonna... the world I'm living in right now. Huh? Oh. Stuff always needing dusted. So. With our remodel, yeah. everything needs dusted. It's true. <laughs> And that is it for today's project. It was so nice to be down here. Oh, let me tell you, it's just, it's fun. There's a different kind of energy um, when you're down here with other people who are passionate about plants. And Brittany, who works down here, she's big time into house plants and has a ton of knowledge um, on them. So it's fun to be able to ask her questions on what she does because she, she grows a lot, a lot of house plants. Um, but it's also fun to look out the doors or windows and see such beautiful things out here. I mean, I had to walk out here because I had to just take this in this is the arctic fire dogwood and it's gorgeous and then the arctic fire yellow right next to it look how pretty those look with the evergreens oh so add that one to your list or those two to your list to get in the garden this year so that you can be looking at these gorgeous stems next year they are so vibrant anyway i'm gonna go load up my plants benjamin and i are gonna head home thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one bye